Hey CG fam, it's your girl Elmella0709 here and I am coming at you guys today to let you know what's going on with my weight. Today is VLCD day 3 and I told you guys before that I loaded and I only loaded up to 1.2 pounds. It sucks. Um, my BMI was 31.5 at that time also that was November 27th and today I love this this app because it not only shows my weight, it gives me the time and I could put in if I didn't if I weighed in after food, before food or whatever, I could put everything in there and it shows up. And it gives me the time that I weighed in so like I could try to weigh myself at the same time every day, which is good. But <clears throat> anyways, 201.2 the first day after loading. After the LCD day one, I was 200.4, okay? So I didn't lose much at all, a couple points. Um, but my BMI went down to 31.4. And I did weigh myself after I ate. So what well, I drank and I like some Doritos. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely struggling this round in the beginning very early. But I'm going to put an end to that today. Anyways. Um, today I woke up this morning at 200.0, 200 flat. Yeah. So, with that said, with that said, oh, well, here's my wins. It starts from the bottom and you work your way up. And then it even gives you a graph, which is totally... Freaking awesome. We're gonna focus on graph. But you get the idea. My weight's up top. And I'm trying to wake my way down to the bottom. Um and then it gives you like and on the scale that I got, because I had to get a new scale. Okay, that was another thing. Day after day one, VLC day one, I had to buy a new freaking scale because my scale broke and that was annoying. So now I have a scale that gives me like, you know, a point, couple points difference from the last one. Um, but it's all right. And with that said, everything's pretty much okay because I know why I'm not releasing. I'm not being perfect on protocol. So I know what I'm releasing. Like even yesterday, I cook. Can you wait? What do you need? Come get your book. So even with me not releasing like I want to, I know why I'm not. So I'm putting it into that today because I am making a pledge to you, to myself, to God, that I'm not going to cheat. I am not going to cheat. I am not going to cheat. I need to meet my goal weight. It has to happen ASAP. This is so not a freaking game. Um, try making God a promise today if you're cheating like I am. And it's not just about your health. Try making a promise saying that, you know, if I cheat, I'm cheating you. You know, because this is so serious. Like, weight loss is hard. It's no, it's no easier than, you know, trying to do something in life that you're struggling with. And weight is definitely something that I've been struggling with. <sighs> trying to do it in a different setting is extremely hard as well because it's easy for me to make little meals or whatever for the kids. Even sometimes making dinner is okay, but I tend to, sorry, my nose is itching. I tend to cook more of the things that I know I'm craving. Like whatever I'm craving, I cook that for dinner. So that's hard. It's very freaking hard. Like last night I cooked um, homemade garlic bread and, and um, a chicken Alfredo casserole which was chicken alfredo with you know onions peppers whatever with the alfredo sauce mix everything in put some mixed vegetable mix in there mix that all into the sauce two bottles of sauce heavy cream okay mix that all in plus noodles then i put into a casserole bowl add cheese and breadcrumbs 
the you know, make a castle. So that so flipping good that I picked up two pieces of bread and ate them. And I dipped them in the sauce. And I had chicken breast covered in that sauce. And I licked the Doritos yesterday. And I didn't have enough water. So it's like, ugh. I did all these things to, like, I'm just seriously screwing myself over and over again. And I said I wasn't going to waste my crack. And today's day three. And I'm happy that I'm catching myself now. And what I mean by that is I'm telling myself that I'm done. I'm going to stop doing this shit. If I wanted to be secretive, I could tell you guys that I'm losing weight, that I'm not. But I'm not going to do that. I, if I wanted to be secretive, I could, like someone said to me, slip in between Apple Days. I could do that stuff and, like, have huge releases. But I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm really not going to do that. And I'm not going to test my crack because I never test my freaking crack unless it's dire that I test it. Like, okay, I'm sticking a protocol and I'm doing everything by the book. I'm drinking my damn water. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and the weight's not coming off. Then I'll test my crack. I, you don't need to test your crack if you have these, okay? Ketone strips, okay? If you have ketone strips, which will test how much fat is in your urine or whatever, how much stuff you're burning, It'll come up on the strip. Like, the darker it is, the more you're burning, okay? This is a negative result right here. That's what I got this morning, a freaking negative, which sucked. It hurt so bad because I was just like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, when I was on my journey before, I was burning out these, like, every day, every morning. I was burning this out, okay? And to have a freaking negative on day three pissed me off. Like, I can't, I can't believe that. That's fucking pathetic. Excuse my friend. That's fucking pathetic, okay? But I sat down and I went into my older journals that I kept um, on my HCG, HCG protocol. And I remember some of the tips that I did not do this time. That I was just like, okay, let me start doing that again. Apple cider vinegar shots in the morning, okay? On an empty stomach. Check. Half a grapefruit with my stevia and... No, Truvia, I think I use. Yeah, I use Truvia. Half a grapefruit with Truvia and cinnamon on it. So that's that was my breakfast this morning. And I'm telling you, I woke up this morning and I was hungry. I'm not going to flip out about that because, if anything, it was probably more dehydration than it was hunger. Because once I took the ACV shot and ate half the grapefruit, I feel fine. So that doesn't mean my crack is not working. If you're eating your meal and you're still hungry, that's a totally different thing. Um, but you can get these ketone test strips. You can see what the box looks like at Walgreens. I mean, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, wherever. They might be in the diabetic section. Just look for it. Um, ketone test strips. That's what they are. It's for urinate on them. You know, I don't do the whole cup thing. I just kind of pull one out when I go to pee, stick it in there, put it on a napkin, and wait. Um, I'm not with the whole cup dip thing, you. Um, but yeah, that's about it. What's going on with my weight? Um, at some point, I did say once I got out of 290s, I want to get into 180s before 290s. Once I get out of the 190s, basically, when I'm in the 180s, I'm going to start working out. Nothing hardcore, because I didn't mention that. Nothing hardcore. I'm sticking to protocol. Walking. Um, I'm going to do some yoga and um, Pilates and stuff like that uh, to try to tone up, because that definitely will tone me up without having to do anything too vigorously. Um, plus, I need to work on my balance, because I've been a little clumsy lately if that makes any sense. Um, but that's about it. I hope everyone else is doing great on their journey and they're releasing great. I know I'm not the only one starting it pretty slow. Um, with each round, it gets harder and harder because you think, you think you know everything, like how to work the system, okay? But you don't. You really don't. And 
constantly cheating eventually catches up to us. It really does. I spoke to someone today on Facebook, and she was just like, she can't stop cheating. She works at restaurants, and all the food there is good, and yada, yada, yada. That's a hard thing to deal with. It really is. Like, to be around food like that, it got to be worse than just having kids with snacks in the house, because I can really avoid the snacks. I don't buy them snacks that I like. Like, I went to the supermarket yesterday with my son, because he stayed home sick, and... He was picking out stuff for the grocery store that I normally would buy. And I was just like, no, you can't have it because I'm going to want it. And that's going to be a problem. And I already see that my footage is slowing down. So I'm going to cut my video short and not get into anything funny or anything like that. But again, I'm trying not to drive myself crazy. Peace. And don't cheat.